Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware Certification VCP6 Data Center Virtualization Training video and this is the 14th video of this series and in this video I am going to show you how to create and deploy VMware uh, distributed switch so basically distributed switch we can create uh, in our uh, VMware's um, vCenter server and we can associate all the ESXOs which is uh, need to be part of uh, the same distribution and then they all the ESXOs can share the same network configuration across the uh, vCenter so like in my infrastructure we are using three dist uh, three ESXOs and I'm going to create my first uh, VMware distribution switch and all the application and OS uh, VMware uh, virtual machines are going to be hosted on all the ESX host by using the same um, same VMware vSphere distributor switch so it's easy to manage the infrastructure so here is my infrastructure um, the first one is first machine is Win2K12 DC01 which is my domain control here you can verify my local server the machine name is Win2K12 DC01 my domain name is victorinfosol.com if you go to dashboard you can verify I have installed Active Directory and domain and DNS uh, role on this server so as previously and we have one vCenter server which is vCenter 6 you can see I have installed vCenter role on uh, vCenter uh, on this machine VMware vCenter and the machine is joined to domain and I have also installed like VMware vSphere client VMware web client on this machine and we have three ESX ESX 01, 02 and 03 and the last one is Starwind which is providing the virtual ISKC drive to our e all the ESX hosts here you can verify all the LUN are coming from Starwind. Starwind I have installed Starwind on my physical machine Starwind ISKC disk you can verify here ISKC Starwind is running on my physical machine basically so this is the all infrastructure which we are going to use in this uh, demo so in next step by step to create and deploy distributors is the first thing we need to do a create a new distributor switch so you can do this uh, by using like um, if you go here from vSphere client inventory and networking for now you can see we don't have any network if you want to create you can go and create from a new vSphere distributor switch also so we can do this from like vSphere client and vSphere web client both so now let's log into web client use windows session authentication now click on networking from vSphere web client home page So the first thing we need to create a new distributor switch. So go ahead and create. So here we have option new distributed switch. Click on it. And then we have to put the like name for our data. Um, distributor switch like I'm going to put here prod D switch under the DC India data center click next and here we have option like distributor switch 6 this can uh, this is compatible with ESX 6 or later so uh, so my all ESX host is running on uh, VMware ESX i6 
so I'm going to use the distributor with 6 click next and now we have a number of port uplink so for now I'm going to use 4 because uh, I want to create a 2 network here one for our uh, 2 port group one for VM network and one for management network. so for me 4 is ok so don't create any port group by default we'll create later on click next and click on finish so start task now you can see one uh, port group uh, distributed switch has been created and in this uh, just go and cancel you can see what is distributed switch all the definition and all the things are mentioned here so cancel it so here you can see the manufacture and version of uh, this switch if you go on manage we don't have any port group we'll create it the second task is rename the uplink for distributed switch so on the setting page we have edit button here if you click on it we have uh, we have option to uh, edit uplink name click on it and just rename it like MGMT01 which means management next 01 and 2 and then VM network 01 and 1 click OK so now we have to create a, a distributor switch port group for this we have to go here and right click and we have option li like Distributed Swiss Broad Group, need Distributed Swiss Broad Group, click on it and the Broad Group name and type here MGMT Management Group, click next and we have like port binding static or binding so I'm going to leave the all the option default the static means something like a static port group automatically increase and increase number of port need to be like uh, if you need to uh, if if you want to assign more ports in this group it, uh, the number of ports uh, it will be increased by default and we have a VLAN option also if you want to configure a VLAN on this you can configure the VLAN so for now we don't want to configure any VLAN for this port group so just go and click next and now we have our first port group uh, created which is management group and I want to create a second one VM network hyphen group this also want to def leave the default for all click finish so now we have one uh, one uh, distributed switch and two board group under under the same distributed switch and the next task is assign uplink for distributed switch board group so we need to go to individual ports uh, port group and then we have to click on manage and setting under the setting if you click on edit button you can see here teaming and failover under the teaming and failover you can see the active uplinks are all the all the uplinks which we have uh, created under the port uh, port group uh, distributors so we have to exclude so this want to be use only management so rest VM network switch ports are um, just need to be pull out and same I want to do from here under the setting go to edit button under the teaming and failover sorry I need to go to here then port groups like the port group edit and then teaming and failover 
and here we have to exclude the management network click OK so now if you go so we are done with this and the next task is uh, like deploy ESX host to distributors is for this we have to go like select our distributor switch go to related object and then host under the host we need to click or also from here you can see the add and manage host so click on it and now we have option to add host manage host networking remove host add host and manage host networking advanced so I'm going with the default one click next and add host I'm going to use the all three host here so move it and if you want to configure the identical networks uh, setting uh, on multiple hosts then a template is also available if you want to go with this just go with this so we need to set the networking from like port binding on one machine and then it will uh, re reapply to uh, will deploy it to all the ESX so I'm going to configure the ESX01 and the same setting has been going to deploy on all the sec uh, two ESX so click next and migrate virtual machine yes I want to migrate virtual machines click next and now we have to select the one and apply below to all so the assign a link for like switch zero management and same VM nick one I want to assign in my management two network and I don't want to touch a uh, vswitch z vswitch one because uh, this is um, mm, accessing my ISOC drives so map the fourth one and map the fifth one also so here you can see we have mapped the networking and I want to apply the same setting on all the ESXOs so now you can see the all settings has been applied on just two ESXOs so good to go click on next so we have option to migrate the VM kernel yes I want to migrate my VM kernel to management group and same apply to like it's asking for settings like IP settings so do one thing because we are migrating the kernel port from a uh, like template it required uh, to need to assign the second IP address to configure the failover if you want to assign the second IP address you can just go and assign the sub second I IP address as well as for now so let's do one thing remove the cloning and do it for all the VMs all the ASX hosts so cancel it so this is the option we have to assign the networking for all the ASX hosts so let's do it let's see this option as well as in the same video so first ESX source we are done and now do it for third ESX host assign up links so we are done with all the three ESX host so go to next and 
assign the port group for management traffic management group and same for the second ESX host here you can see the migration of the management traffic also so we have uh, like uh, the, the NIC which need to be migrated the switch which is associated with NIC and management network and we have uh, like a destination port group which is management group so good to go click next and now it's analyzing the impact if anything is uh, like impacting the ISKC drive so migrating the NIC 3 without my so we have to go and check the for ESX2 might be there was some mistake in configuring it so yes we did some mistake like we have to migrate this one basically now I think everything is seems fine and let's check the impact so no impact good to know click next and migrate VM machines yes I want to migrate it to my VM network port group so NIC count 1 migrate it to VM network group click next and now we have total 3 host physical network adapter 12 and VM network 3 adapter and virtual machine adapter 1 so click and finish and now it's you can see managing host on distributor is running so what it will do it will do uh, add the all th 3 ESX hosts under this uh, di uh, distributor support group and will migrate one uh, virtual machine to our v VM network also so here you can see the uh, task is completed we have three ESX host under this uh, uh, port group you can see from here also and we have if we expand it if you go to network group you can see three host and one virtual machine and now it's time to verify the hosts itself if I go here you can see the port is created and if you go to host and clusters on summary you can see the like um, uh, two, two port group which is a management and uh, VM network group has been created and associated with this ES ES601 and same you can verify on okay, our second so we have deployed the distributor successfully and if you go on machine itself virtual machine and click edit setting you can see from here also VM network has been migrated to VM network port group so so we have verified distributors on an ESX host and virtual machine as well as so this is all about creating and deploying distributors from uh, vSphere or uh, vCenter to ESX host and thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my give me daddy thank you once again bye bye